So I'm on the Sagamore Mine Lake, part of the Cuyuna State Recreation Area, which is a group of old mines that they stopped using like 30, 40 years ago that filled in with uh, water. And I guess it took them like the lakes like 10 years to fill up to what they're currently at right now. So this Sagamore Lake is away from all the other ones, which is kind of part of the reason I wanted to come to it. It's um, probably like five miles away from where the, the group of most of them are and where most people go um, kayaking to explore them. But this one, when I looked at it on the map, it looked like it had an island on it, which I think might be this area right, right here in front of us. And I was kind of curious why, why there would be an island, if indeed it is an island and not just a blip on the, on what I saw on the image online. Um, I was just kind of curious why they would leave a chunk of land in the middle of a, when they were digging a, a mine, why part of it would be left untouched, unless it was part where they just started dumping the, the dirt. But I'm gonna kayak up around this island, assuming that's what it is, and um, just kind of check it out. So they stopped, they stopped mining here, well, like 30, 40 years ago, in the 80s or something like that. And um, you can see all the vegetation that has come back. And it looks, I mean, it looks pretty similar to other areas, you know, up around this same area. And there's a lot of trees. You know, they're small trees. I don't know what used to be here before they started mining. And the trees are small, but they're, it's, the vegetation is definitely back. And I don't, if you've watched any of my previous videos on kayaking, you know, I don't really like kayaking lakes at all, at all. Um, but I kayaked one that had an island and I went to the island and it felt like there was like a purpose to kayaking it other than just like going around in a circle around the edge or something or, you know, it felt like there was a, a purpose. So I think I kind of, that's kind of what I wanted to do with this one is kind of just look at it and just see like what this island is like and wonder why like why they didn't mine that portion or why they left a pile there or why they you know started digging and then started dumping the stuff there, the dirt, and made that big mound, because that's a pretty good size. It's not flat, that's like a mound. So the, one of the things that the, these lakes, they're like claim to fame of sorts, is that the water is supposed to be crystal clear, like you can see down like 40 or 50 feet and you know before the before the water started filling it up trees had started growing so you can see like trees way down in the lake that had started growing at one time 
Um, maybe because this lake is so far away and this one doesn't seem as well frequented as the other ones. Um, it's, it, it, I don't, I'm not seeing the crystal clear water that these mine lakes are supposed to have. I mean, it's, it's a really cloudy day today too. So that might be part of it, is that it's just too cloudy, but the water looks, I mean, it seems clean. The lake, the lake has a, a clean feel to it. It's just not like crystal clear. Like kind of what I was expecting, but maybe you have to go to some of the other ones to, um, to get that and not this one. But you can see, you can see that island in front of us. That's, that's a pretty good stack of dirt. I mean, they, they stacked dirt there. That's there because they wanted it to be there. And maybe that portion didn't have any ore in it or whatever they were mining for up here. Um, but it's, it's, I mean, you got 15 feet above the water level and this is still pretty, like this lake isn't full up to where, I mean, it, there's a, around the whole edge of it, there's, there's like a bank that goes up about that height. So it could be that that's just the, was the original uh, level of the ground and they just dug around it for some reason. But I haven't found a spot. I was kind of hoping there would be a spot to get out and walk up there. And I guess I could probably pull up to any area and try climbing that, but it's a little steeper than I want to do in sandals. Yeah, there's not really a spot to get off on this island. I mean, that would be a disaster trying to climb that or come back down from it for that matter. Oh, but the water right here now, now closer to shore, this is maybe five feet deep here. And this is, this is really clear water. And there's weeds growing up right to the surface. And I don't know a lot about this lake, mainly because I think it's one that they don't talk about as much. Um, but there's 15 of these, 15 of these mine lakes up here. And like I said, this is the furthest away from the bulk of them. But I was hoping that island would have been, would have been able to get off on that, but doesn't look like it. So that was a nice little trip around this lake and around that island. Um, there's not much to say about this one, which is probably why it's less frequented than the others. Um, I, think, I think the fishing in here is trout. Uh, if people are looking for a place to go trout fishing. Um, and if anybody's watching this that has any idea why they would leave in the center of the mine that huge mound like that. Oh yeah, it's, it's really, the water's really clear now over here and the sun's starting to come out. I think that's all it was. Yeah, it's really clear. Oh, it's not very deep though. It's only like five or six feet deep. But you can see how clear it is. But if anybody has any idea why they would leave that lake out there like that, that mound of dirt, 
in the middle of the mine. If they could leave it in the comments, I'd like to know because that was what made me want to come to this this lake was to just kind of check out that island and see what it was like. And if the banks would have been a little lower, I would have been able to get off and kind of like walk around it a little bit. But so we're going to end this here. And um, this was worth the paddle. I'm not really a, a big um, kayaking on lakes person, but I found it's, I know why people do it now. It's way easier to just park and just go and come back to the same spot and your car's there. With, you know, rivers, you gotta like, you know, have either two people in two cars or you have to have your bike with you or, and you gotta go find, you know, carrying access or boat ramps that are the distance you wanna paddle apart. And like, there's way more work to do in rivers. I just, I just prefer them to lakes, but this one's not too bad. Um, I got a really calm day today. The winds were like three, so it's, it's, it's pretty flat. And um, looks like the sun might be actually coming out a little bit. It's been rainy, but anyway, I'm gonna still try and get a few more kayaking videos in before the, the summer's officially over. So if you like this kind of stuff, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.